composition of cake fails. Cake ingredients ready. User input required to complete baking process. Please select the correct ingredients on the console. Ingredients. Fish shaped solid waste. One cup lemon juice. A single banana. Baking process complete. Cake can now be consumed. In the event of loss of consciousness as a result of cake consumption, please inform your nearest Aperture Science Technician. Hey, over here. How's it going, Sugar Plum? Hey there, Sugar. How'd a pretty little flower like you manage to sprout up in a dingy old lab like this? Oh, it doesn't matter. There's adventuring to do. And luckily for you, Rick the Adventure Sphere, just call me Rick, is here to show you how it's done. You best get your ointment ready, sweetie. Because with this assault course right here, you are gonna feel the burn! You know what would make this assault course more assaulty? Some action music. <laughs> Up and over, duck and weave, in and out, one step, two step, pow, 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 pow. This assault course is your doormat, baby. You are walking all over it. Wipe your feet on it. Good. Yeah! Way to assault the course, baby! That was some great A adventure. Almost brought a simulated tear to my eye. Let me give you a little something for doing such a good job. Just make sure you have something cool to say when you take it. Ready? Three, two, one, adventure! I'm sure you're quite happy wandering around doing what you do best, aimlessly destroying things. But perhaps you could take a moment out of your busy schedule to perform a quick test. The size of tellies nowadays, eh? Nobody ever warns you about these particular pratfalls of parenting. Well, go on. I know you're dying to say it. I can see it in your eyes. You want to say, I told you, Wheatley. I said you were too hard on those poor little mutant boxes. It was only ever crime. was trying to make their daddy proud. Now they've run away from home. Each of them hiding, glad knows where, scared and alone in some dark, dingy corner of the lab. You want to say I'm a monster? Well, I'm not a monster! I'm not a monster! I mean, I am the monster, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I am, in a sense. And if my little boxes were here, I'd say that. I'd tell, I'd tell them that. But they're not. I mean, well, they could be. Have a look around. Tell you what, you know you've made it in life when you're up on the big screen. 
Am I right? Although, I mean, it's pretty unforgiving. I mean, you can see every. You found one of the turrets! Brilliant! Keep it up! Keep it up! Although, no mad rush, because I'm actually working on an apology speech, which I think is is quite, quite beautiful. Oh, you all came back! I never thought I'd be so happy to see your little improvised robotic faces. But I am! I am! And what I want to say is... <clears throat> if you don't want to step on buttons, then don't step on buttons, alright? Don't step on a single one. Not even if an orphanage is burning down and the only way to activate the sprinkler system is to, is to step on a button. Don't do it. Don't, we, you, you probably should do it in that case, but other than that, you know, just do what you want to do. You're strong. You're independent mutant boxes. Think for yourselves. Be yourselves. Welcome. All volunteers for the praying mantis test should approach the information panel where you'll find a happy little button that'll get things started. There may also be an identical fake button which is wired directly into the mains. If there is, then pressing the correct one is your first test, and possibly last. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you, fighting an army of mantis men. Please move to the designated marker and assume your chosen combat stance. You'll know when the test starts. I suppose you think you're clever. Circumventing my meticulously planned test with your ability to fly. If you're happy cheating yourself, then of course that's entirely your prerogative. But I hope you realize that such behavior is of no benefit to science. Unless you're using- If you're hearing this clip, it means you fought off enough mantis men to complete half of the test. But you should know as well as I do that people don't get medals for a job half done. So, less listening to pointless voice recordings and more fighting mantis men. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. It also means you've single-handedly managed to eradicate an entire species in the space of an afternoon, which definitely deserves some kind of recognition, possibly from an international tribunal. Carolyn, give them something shiny and make sure they don't get within 10 feet of my office. Now the lab boys were adamant that I do not give you any hints on these tests. To be honest, they think I'm spoiling the result. Come on, you stupid thing! Step on the button! It's literally your only purpose! Oh, hi there. Um, spot of luck you came by. I've, I've actually been in here um, literally for hours trying to get these boxes to walk onto their assigned buttons and they're just not getting it. Um, I don't know why, maybe it's me, you know, maybe my teaching methods are just too theoretical. Um, the trouble is it's very hard to have a hands-on approach when you don't have hands. You know, I mean, it's, it's my fault. I, I hold up my hands. I mean, I don't, I, I don't because I, I don't have any, but you know, you take my point. Anyway, would you just, you know, just give them a nudge in the right direction? Be a friend. High five. No, I can't, I can't do that. You remember that time I promised you cake and you had this misguided impression that it was all a ruse and I was actually trying to lure you to an untimely end? Well, I hope you're prepared to eat humble pie. Because there is indeed a cake waiting for you somewhere in the facility. And its location is particular. To be honest with you, I may have set you up for a bit of a fall here. I mean, for a, for a bunch of randomly assorted components, they are awfully stubborn. Personally, do you know what it is? I think video games. Go out, get some fresh air, I keep telling them, but no, they're not listening. 
I'd take care if I were you. The weight testing of the Aperture Science Hard Light Bridges was cancelled due to sudden staff redundancies. I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh! I get it. So they listen to you, do they? But not me. Fine. Fine. I mean, you haven't hurt my feelings. What have I ever done for you? Except, you know, made you and nurtured you, took you under my wing when no other turret could even bear to look at you, fed you little bits of Plugs and, and things. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. That's the ticket. I thought that test would just be an easy way to get my, my test solving fix. See, but I, I forgot how useless these boxes are at performing simple commands. But you, you're like some kind of button walking on wizard, mate. Seriously, I mean, where do you learn that stuff? What is it, textbooks? Is it is it um, online courses? Um, I mean, do you have to go to some kind of, you know, retreat with, where you wear robes and things and there's some chat with a long hair and a guitar? Oh, listen to me, I'm rambling on. You've probably got a stack of buttons on your desk that need pressing. So I'll, I'll let you get back to it. But seriously, thanks for your help. I'm sure you're quite happy wandering around doing what you do best, aimlessly destroying things. But perhaps you could take a moment out of your busy schedule to perform a quick test. <laughs> this next test involves Aperture Science Material Wealth Incrementation Spheres. Based on its current data detailing your pathological compulsion to collect everything in sight, the Enrichment Center has every confidence in your success. Collected spheres will only count towards the test when returned to this point. <laughs> You know you've made it in life when you- While speed is not technically a marking criteria for this test, the Enrichment Center would like to remind test subjects of the German proverb, the latecomer is ill-lodged and not very good at testing. Who's the thought? What are you doing back there? Before you start believing every insane mantra you see scrawled on a wall, I should mention that a few of my former test subjects went a little crazy in non-test related circumstances.
Enrichment Center advises that despite their nutritious appearance, the material wealth incrementation spheres are not edible. The Enrichment Center takes no responsibility for the loss of teeth or life caused by attempting to eat one. A certain someone who shall remain nameless did a right old number on the old relaxation chamber here. So. Congratulations. You have successfully walked into and collected a number of inanimate objects of questionable value. Based on your current trajectory, you are only 3,440,938 tests away from becoming a qualified garbage collector. Well, aren't you an eager beaver? And I assure you that's not a comment on your Gentle arrangement. Shall we begin the next test? 